Info Factory Track for CSI, PPS Packing. Factory Track has several PPS packing parameters to control the validations, displayed fields and processing options that are permitted as part of the PPS packing process. These are defined on the Transaction Set Parameters form for the PPS packing transaction. For this training, we will enable the parameters displayed in order to show where those fields appear in the transaction steps. For initial setup, it is recommended that at least the selection by pick list is selected. In order to navigate to PPS packing, from the Factory Track Warehouse Mobility main menu, click on the Ship It icon. This then navigates the outbound transaction screen where you click on the PPS packing icon. The PPS packing process is initiated by determining which pick list to use. Factory Track offers several options to allow the user to search for the pick list to process. The shipment ID field is made available if the selection by shipment field is selected in the transaction set maintenance form. You can enter, scan or search from a list of shipments available for packing. The most commonly used filter is the pick list number, which is made available when the selection by pick list option is selected in the transaction set maintenance form. You can enter, scan or search the pick list number. The pack location field is made available if the selection by pack location option is selected in the transaction set maintenance form. Again, you can enter, scan or search the pack location ID. The packer field is made available if the allow packer option is selected in the transaction set maintenance form. Again, enter, scan or search the packer ID. The order ID field is made available if the selection by order option is selected in the transaction set maintenance form. Enter or search select the order ID. Click on next to continue. Once the pick list is selected based on the previous filter selections, Factory Track displays the item detail selection which requires the pack process to fill the order. Each item detail includes the following information associated with the items that are previously picked. The shipment ID, the pick list, the order number, the item ID, and the package ID for any items or packages that have already begun the packing process. You select the item or package to continue, then click on Pack to continue. To process PPS packing for a non-lot, non-serial item, PPS packing screen will display fields associated with the previous selection screen. These are the shipment ID, the unpacked quantity, which is the remaining amount to be packed based on the selected item. Note that this only applies when an item is selected for packing and will be hidden if a package record is selected. We can enter, scan or search and select the package ID into which you will be adding this item or package. If this is the first item being packed for this shipment, no package will be available and this field should be left blank. Also, if this processing is the first item being added into a new package, leave this blank as well. As part of the pack processing, a new package ID will be created by the application in these circumstances. We can enter, scan or search the package type that is being used to pack the specified items. If a package ID has been supplied, then this field will be display only and defaulted based on the package ID's defined type. We can enter, scan or select the item ID or package ID that has been packed into the selected package type. Note that this is defaulted based on the previous selection but can be edited by the user on this screen. We can enter the quantity of the items that have been packed into the specified package. Note that this only applies when an item is selected for packing and will be hidden if a package record is selected. Enter whether the processing of this transaction will complete the packing for the entire shipment record. This is defaulted to no. And click on pack to continue with processing. Factory track will prompt the user to select remaining items to continue with the pack process as needed. To process PPS packing for a lot tracked item, it is a similar process with an additional lot specific field. The PPS packing screen displays the lot ID associated with the items that were previously picked for this shipment. We click on Pack to continue with processing. Factory Track will prompt the user to select the remaining items to continue with the pack process as needed. To process PPS packing for serial tracked items, it's a similar process with additional serial specific fields. The quantity entity will control the next process by defining the scan quantity that will be required to complete the process. 
This will become the total quantity value used on the serial selection processing form. The scan quantity field is displayed to indicate the number of serial numbered items that have been captured in the process. We can enter, scan or search the serial numbers for the items being packed. Once the scan quantity equals the total quantity, the processing option is enabled. We can click on Pack to process the PPS packing or show list or clear list to remove the serial numbers captured in the process so far. Factory Track also has the ability to combine packed items into shipment into larger packages. From the item and package selection screen, pick a package that should be combined with others in a larger container and click on pack. This package is defaulted into the item package field. We can then enter, scan or search and select a package ID if this package is to be placed inside an existing package. If this is defined, the package type will be disabled and defaulted with the defined package type for that package ID. If this is the first package to be placed in a new package, leave the package ID field blank and enter, scan or search to select the package type to be used. Click on Pack to process the PPS packing. 